Hey, what's up guys? Um, I just want to make a quick video talking about uh, the importance of eating enough food. Um, when, especially, well in general, but especially when you have been dealing with uh, like DPDR, anxiety, stuff like that. So, just today, the last, the last two days, um, I haven't eaten a lot of food and um, that's because I've been ill prepared for work and that leaves me without a lot of food and so yesterday I probably and I don't know how much how knowledgeable you guys are about calories and um, volume of food that it requires or that is required to get a certain amount of calories given a certain food. But basically I probably got only like a thousand calories yesterday. And that's like really, really low, really low, especially for me. Um, I have not as recently, but in the last few months been used to eating 3000 to 4000 calories. And so going from that going down and down and down to in the thousand calorie mark um, it's just your brain is not getting the fuel it's not getting the fuel that it needs to function and so if you don't supply your brain especially with carbohydrates like sugar and I'm not talking about like refined sugar I'm talking about like fruits or like starches um, good carbohydrates because um, that's what your brain runs off of, glucose. If your brain doesn't have that fuel and you add that to having DPDR or being in an anxious state um, previously in your history, then your brain is going to freak out. Um, and today, like I had to wake up at like 4.45 in the morning and... For the first like five hours of the day, I barely had a lot to eat. And once I started, I, I got these like 2,000 calorie juices each. And um, just after I got in at least 1,000, now, now I've had probably like a little over 2,000. And then I'm gonna go home and eat dinner and push it to 3,000. But after getting that fuel in, there's an immediate, well not immediate, but a clear difference in my ability to function and there's a clear difference in the severity of my DPDR and, and as well when you're not eating enough, when you're not eating as much, your body is getting it's stressed out because it doesn't have the tools it needs to, you know, do to do the normal things it needs to do. And so when you add that to DPDR, you're effing yourself over because your brain already functions a little bit differently than you might want. And so not giving it the fuel it needs to function at that level will make it function even worse. And so my number not my number one tip, but a big tip, a big tip for everybody that's been following me or just watching this video is to eat enough food, eat enough calories. If you're a girl, eat like at least 2,000. If you're a guy, get up to 3,000 uh, or more, especially, and, and if you're exercising, eat more. And that's, I haven't been eating a lot, so I haven't been able to exercise because I haven't had the extra energy source to go and do that. And that has been a big part of my recovery is exercise, so when I'm not able to do that, it's, it's holding me back a little bit. And so, eat, eat enough. Eat enough of the right foods. Potatoes, rice, fruits, vegetables. But get in those carbs, like get in the carbs. Eat carbs, carbs are your friend. They will not make you fat, they will not make you crazy. In fact, when you cut them, you will become crazy. 
because I felt it. And this is the crazy that's not cutting carbs. This is the crazy that's like energy in the brain because I've eaten carbs, able to say some words in a row. That probably sounded super funky. I don't care. Eat your carbs.